The £75,000 Nissan GTR is one of the fastest cars on earth. So when we heard that Nissan had updated it with an extra 20 brake horsepower, we wanted to take it to the extreme. It's 4.53 a.m. I'm at Millbrook Proving Ground in Bedfordshire. And in half an hour's time, I'll be part of a team attempting to make a GTR go further in one hour than any road car has ever gone before. Yikes. The world record for distance covered in one hour is 142.5 miles. At record-breaking speeds, the GTR does just 8 miles per gallon and will run out of fuel after 130 miles, so we will need to fill up. To keep our average speed as high as possible, we've taken inspiration from how jet fighters fuel in mid-air and built a rig to fill the GTR whilst it drives along. It's a world first. My role is to drive the explosive fueling van just an arm's length away from the GTR, which will be piloted by stuntman Terry Grant. And the man charged with reaching out and filling the GTR is NASCAR pit mechanic Roger Scotland. So Terry, talk me through what we've got here exactly. Okay, I know it looks really scary and clinical, but it's basically it's a mobile petrol pump. There's an electric pump to, to pump the fuel from the tank to the car a hose, we've modified it so it's a bit longer. We put a hose in to allow for the bumps while we're traveling at speed. Before the big day, we'd only practiced while stationary or in a straight line. The morning of the attempt was our first chance for a full dress rehearsal on the bowl at full speed. Nobody had ever tried this before, but our aim was to refuel at a mind-boggling 85 miles per hour. OK, so Terry is alongside me and I'm just doing my best to concentrate on keeping absolutely dead level with the white line to my left. First, a wire is attached from the van to the GTR, which earths the vehicles to prevent static electricity causing an explosion. I had a bit of a moment when Terry first came up alongside me because I think I just got a bit excited and so I know, I know that I wobbled a bit. But I know that I'm tense in my right arm because uh, I've got a slight ache already. Vicky was so up for it and had every confidence in Vicky keeping in a straight line, which she did. That was a big, big thrill to be honest, so I'm really chuffed with that. Really gave us um, a, a, an adrenaline rush and a real sense of excitement and, and teamwork, so that was lovely. Well done! with the General Lee. This car is 18 feet long. It's six feet wide. It weighs two and a quarter tonne. Manual. Sounds impressive, but the extra gear is for fuel economy, not speed. And then there's the price. This Carrera S, the best-selling model, costs £5,000 more than before. 